The rich and powerful are on their way to Davos for the annual World Economic Forum. With me to discuss the forum this year is Lionel Barber, the FT's editor. Lionel, what do you think the big themes are going to be this year? Is 2014 going to be the year that we can talk about normality? We know that the Fed will be uh, tapering, that is withdrawing slowly uh, the unconventional monetary measures this year. That will have an effect on the world economy. We also know that confidence is coming back. It's not just in Britain that we see signs of growth, certainly in the United States, perhaps certainly in parts of Europe. So the question that will be on the, uh, I think, at the forefront of many business people's minds is, is it back to normal? Can we spend money? Are we going to start investing? What's your impression of where business leaders are? Do you think they're going to be still worried about the world economy, worried what tapering might do, or actually thinking, what is it about making their own businesses more successful so that they can get ahead in the future? Well, if you go back 18 months, I would have said most business people at best were cautiously pessimistic. Uh, they didn't maybe think that the Eurozone would explode, but they were certainly very, very concerned. I think this year they will be cautiously optimistic about uh, the state of the economy and perhaps a shift in sentiment towards investing. Remember, we've seen several big M&A deals at the turn of the year. This could be uh, foreshadowing greater activity in this area. Now, of course, Davos isn't only about business and economics. There's geopolitics there. A lot of world leaders are going to turn up in, in Switzerland this week. What do you think the big things to look out for there are? Middle East, uh, it's a mess. Very concerned about Egypt, uh, very concerned obviously about the Syria, what's happening there with the, uh, the effect on the region, neighboring countries, uh, the jo Jordan, great instability there, Lebanon, great instability, and countries which you wouldn't normally in the past, in the recent past, have associated with instability, economic, financial, and political instability, like Turkey. So the only brighter spot, and I speak with guarded words here, is Iran. And President Rouhani, I understand, will be attending the conference. And as we know, late last year, there was an interim deal to contain Iran's nuclear program. If there could be you know, an agreement, a broader agreement, bringing in the Americans, that would be a big positive signal for the region. And one of the things we've certainly heard from a lot of organizations, the International Monetary Fund, the International Labour Organization, is that just getting growth back isn't quite enough. It needs to be the right sort of growth that's inclusive, that makes ordinary people actually feel better off. Do you think this is going to be a theme that it's not just going to be the rich and powerful sipping champagne, but actually there's going to be concern for what happens to ordinary people in big countries? Well, I can certainly say people will be sh sipping champagne, uh, but they'll also be, with those sips, talking about caring, inclusive capitalism. The Another word I suspect or term we'll hear a lot about is living wages. A lot of talk about inequality, not just because of the uh, discussion about the quality of recovery, but also the impact of technology. Uh, is it just uh, of, is it creative destruction, lots of jobs being lost, uh, but also huge waves of innovation through the Internet of Things. How this ties up into how do you have capitalism which provides broader recovery with uh, higher wages for all? That's, that's going to be a big, I think, a big theme of debate. And just finally, the optics of Davos is always very rich people going through this opulent ski resort, having lots of parties. Do, 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 do the optics matter and do you think they're going to be any different this year? Well. The optics have, in, at times in the past, not been so good. Uh, I'm not just talking about demonstrations. Uh, the demonstrators never get into the heart of Davos, but they're certainly uh, clambering up the hill, so to speak. And when you see the amount of uh, sponsorship, um, the only thing that's not sponsored is the snow at times in Davos. Um, so I think sometimes the optics are not so good. On the other hand, it is important to say that very uh, important discussions have been had between leaders which have broken new ground and often there's good debate which serves to uh, form a foundation for, for progressive thinking, uh, not just in terms of economics but also politics. Well, Lionel, thank you very much.
And the FT, of course, will be at Davos in force and will be covering the World Economic Forum throughout this week on FT.com.